Hello everybody, this is Dino Don again with a little update on my Stan Myers water fuel cell project. Uh, so what I've done this time is I still have everything the same way. I've got a uh, frequency counter now replaced on my generator. That's the primary frequency. Uh, the gating frequency is off of this one. I eventually may put a counter on that one as well. But uh, right now I'm running about 12 volts into the frequency generator right her out through the MOSFET here. I keep this out because it gets pretty warm. Uh, but anyway, what I did is I took a uh, standard 115, 120 volt single phase transformer in to a 12.6 volt out with a center tap. What I'm doing is I'm putting 12 volts in and getting the 110, 15 volts out. Okay, so I come out of there, out of the sec uh, uh, the secondary side of the transformer to a choke coil to the negative and then the other leg comes out goes into my blocking diode through the second choke back to the cell and I have my meter hooked across the cell okay my scale on the, is back to one volts per division as you can see I got it set so it's at the very bottom side of the channel the trace so alright this is what I've got I've just got this kind of pre-tuned at a thousand hertz and I don't know where this is basically at but anyway this is what I get when I turn on notice the nice clean unipolar pulses going to the cell this is taking the readings again directly at the cell and now you can see there's a whole lot more gas production going on now this again I'm only running 12 volts in 0.6 million uh, six amps now I I can take this all the way up to 30 volts and watch as I go up doesn't really seem to matter how much I put in there but, but essentially I'm at one two three four five six a little over six volts but that's pretty much the first time if I keep it up that high uh, it's gonna really do a number on my MOSFET she'll get really hot running that kind of power. Um, let me turn it back up again just so you can see the gas output a little bit. But uh, all this time I've been experimenting I've never seen unipolar pulses that clean actually at the cell. Okay, So there's my it's only like six seven volts at the cell but it's making some decent gas. But anyway, that's my scope trace, and that's what the signal locked. Now I can vary the frequency, I can turn it up and increase the pulses, as you can see them change. Let's see if I can go back here, but I mean it really doesn't matter if I increase or decrease the pulses here. Speed up, slow down, I can feel the heat coming off my MOSFET, so I'm going to turn that down. But uh, the gating frequency just turns down how many pulses hit. But anyway, I thought I'd like to show you that, that uh, it is possible to get unipolar pulses out of a transformer through the chokes and that. Now, a note on the chokes, it really doesn't matter if the chokes are on the core, or off the core, the voltage doesn't change. I can switch the chokes around and it will drop voltage, but Generally, I get turned down low. This thing really rattles. But anyway, that's what I've got. Uh, so let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching. Don out.